Today, more photos of the Duchess of Cambridge wearing less than the palace ever wanted you to see. The Italian magazine called Chi, means who in Italian, released this 26-page spread showing new images of Kate topless on that balcony in that private chateau in the south of France owned by William's uncle. Also today, lawyers for the royals filed legal action against Key's sister publication in France, which first showed Kate half-naked last week. The palace is seeking damages and a court order stopping further publication of these photos. Since the story broke, we in the newsroom, let me just tell you this, shall we say, uh, have had some very loud discussions over who's at fault. Is it the paparazzi or the future queen of England? And Catherine certainly received no sympathy in this CNN.com article written by Roland Martin, our CNN analyst, host and managing editor of Washington Watch with Roland Martin on TV One. Roland is joining yep. me now. And Roland Martin, let me just be totally transparent to our viewers. I mean, you and I normally talk politics. We were on set last week talking foreign policy. Why, right. my, why my friend, do you care about the Duchess of Cambridge in this story? Actually, I don't. But I think what it speaks to is this whole issue in terms of the decisions that you make and how it impacts you later on. And so when I saw the story, the first thing that came to my mind was obviously paparazzi. They are atrocious. They, I can't stand these folks. I hate all these celebrity magazines where they're taking photos of people walking down the street getting coffee. But let's be honest. If you don't take your top off in public, there are no photos. There's no controversy. And so I immediately thought about Michael Jordan. I immediately thought about Michael about Jordan. Others. Right. Michael Jordan. When Michael Jordan played in the NBA, Michael Jordan never got dressed in the locker room. He always got dressed in a side room. You go into the NBA or NFL locker rooms, guys are walking around, butt naked, coming out of the shower, literally changing clothes right in front of the media. Uh -huh. And so Jordan never wanted to be seen in a way that he could not control. And so I understand being on a private 640 Roland acre Martin, this is a private, let me just play devil's advocate, this is a private villa, she's on a balcony. I mean, I have to imagine that the land is pretty, pretty dense where she is. I don't know how far right. away this, I'm sure, photographic lens was, but I, I can't help. Let me just say, I personally felt sympathy for her. I mean, can this woman I, not have a single private moment in her life? The moment you, here's the deal, when you walk outside of a door that is now outdoors, the reality is you might be photographed. There are people with literally lenses that can shoot photos from a mile or two miles away. And look, I totally agree on the whole notion of privacy. But what I'm saying is you have to protect yourself. In boxing, there's a phrase called protect yourself at all times. And you talk to any number of celebrities, they will tell you they have to think about this beforehand and protect themselves beforehand. I get French law. I get the laws are on the books. But the reality is this here. When you walk outside of that door, you are in the open space. So and you're saying, if you're in, if you're the, in the spotlight, if you are, if it were to be a Michael Jordan, if it were to be a Lady Gaga, if it were to be a Lindsay Lohan, if it were to be now, um, you know, the Duchess of Cambridge, it doesn't yeah. matter. You always have to be mindful of where you are, what you're wearing, what you're not wearing, what you're tweeting, etc. And, and also, Brooke, let me I, just let me just point this sure. out though that she is also married to the son of you know the late Princess Diana, who was the most photographed woman in the world. That's my point. And also, look, I know any number of celebrities, and they are very careful about the people who they are even around with privately in terms of are you recording photos or videos. I went to the house of one of the biggest musical artists of all time, yeah. and in his bathroom. There are photos all around saying, no photos, no videos, put this in your memory bank. And so what I'm saying is, it's about protecting yourself. And again, is that I not know so people, sad that that person has sad. to go to that length? It's sad that Halle Berry has to go off on paparazzi and she's literally con trying to move to France because they're following her when she's picking her daughter up from school. But, but, but with that said, celebrities will tell you they have to protect themselves. And all I'm saying is, if you want to, if you want to get your full tan on with no clothes, guess what? It might have to be inside in a, in, a, in a tanning booth. It might have to be with a special machine. But the moment you step outside in open air, you risk the paparazzi invading your private space. Now here, and that's what we have here. Here's something else you point out, because you say not only really is she is a celebrity, you know, uh, to blame, you point uh, to us Americans. Let me, read, let me read part of this. Our culture not only has accepted it being, you know, um, uh, uh, and our interest in, in this kind of, you know, these kinds of photos, uh, we revel in it. Seriously, do you think all those celebrity magazines and websites with photos of stars walking to the store to get coffee lose money? No, you go on. We live in the age of voyeurism, and the long lenses of the paparazzi satisfy our insatiable desire for the garbage. So, in essence, Roland Martin... Are we as a society and this demand to look in to blame? 
Yes. Look, if somebody is paying a photographer seven figures or high six figures of a nude Kate Middleton. And we don't know how much they pay it, do we? Well, we don't know, but, yeah. but we do know that other paparazzi have gotten significant amounts of money for these kind of photos. And guess what? They know if I spend this amount of money, we're gonna make that money back in terms of newsstand sales. And so you're absolutely right. I sit on airplanes and I see women, men, mothers sitting there and they're looking through these magazines and they're nothing but yeah. photo magazines of just stars just doing their everyday life we drive this and it's our voyeurism and that's the problem so we can say oh the paparazzi's bad well stop buying the magazine then mm, um we could go off on that but i have to stop <laughs> roland martin thank you and you can read roland's article just go to cnn.com and, and to you watching tell me what you think send me a tweet i sit here and read all my tweets real. keep keep it real roland martin tweet me at brooke b cnn thanks roland thanks a lot